Our family had enjoyed a fun-filled day on the ski slopes, which was now coming to a frosty close. Arriving at the car, I reached in my coat pocket for the keys, and then another pocket and another. Where are the keys? Everyone was anxiously waiting on the keys. The car battery was charged, and all the systems, including the heater, were ready to go. But without the keys, Locked doors would deny entrance. Without the keys, the engine would not provide power to the vehicle. Without keys, this wonderful miracle of engineering was little more than plastic and metal. Even though the car had great potential, without keys, it could not perform its intended function. The more I reflect on this experience, the more profound this analogy has become to me. And in particular, my heart is filled with overwhelming gratitude for the restoration of priesthood authority and priesthood keys. Without this restoration, we would be locked out from the vehicle necessary to transport us to our journey home to heavenly parents. The performance of every ordinance of salvation comprising our covenant pathway back to the presence of our Father in heaven requires appropriate governance through priesthood keys. Now, for you young men and young women, I have considered three ways that you can find the keys or use priesthood keys and authority to bless your life and the lives of others. Prepare for missionary service, attend the temple, and go forward with faith. The Lord has shown us that He will not leave us standing in the bitter cold without keys or authority to lead us safely home to Him. I testify that priesthood authority and priesthood keys start the engine, open the gates of heaven, facilitate heavenly power, and pave the covenant pathway back to our loving Heavenly Father. I pray that you, the rising generation of young men and young women, will press forward with a steadfastness in Christ that you may understand that it is your sacred privilege to act under the direction of those who hold priesthood keys.